The Cybertruck is the first Tesla to offer vehicle-to-home capabilities, but this power share feature won't be enabled until later on this year, and it requires extra hardware to work. So that brings up the question, what hardware is necessary? How much does the hardware cost and how much does installation cost? When will the system be available and will other Tesla vehicles get this feature in the future? I'm John and this is CleanerWatt. The Cybertruck's power conversion system, when connected to the proper hardware installed at your home, which I will discuss shortly, is able to put out 11.5 kilowatts of continuous power. So that's very impressive. However, Tesla's vehicle to home feature is not yet available. While the truck itself does have the necessary hardware on its end, um, Tesla is still working out everything before they release it to the general public. But according to this post by Skynet on the Cybertruck Owners Club forum, it looks like we won't have to wait very long for this feature to be enabled, and it could be enabled as soon as June of this year. The required hardware is listed on Tesla's website, but in this post by Skynet on the Cybertruck Owners Club forum, a video was shared published on the Smart Charge America YouTube channel that discussed installing the proper hardware, the proper gateway, etc., for this Tesla PowerShare vehicle to home capability. So with that being said, based on information on Tesla's website and information in this podcast, if you have no existing Tesla power walls installed, you'll need Tesla's new 3V gateway, which is not the same gateway that is used for the Tesla power wall. And you'll also need Tesla's new universal wall connector. While not required, you can also add the optional backup switch that Tesla offers that should make installation quite a bit faster and probably less expensive. Now that first scenario, once again, is if you have no Tesla power walls installed. However, the second scenario is actually quite exciting for those who do have a Tesla Powerwall system because as confirmed in the Smart Charge America video, if you already have a Tesla Powerwall or Tesla Powerwalls installed and a Tesla wall charger, no extra equipment will be necessary. Apparently with a future update, the Tesla Cybertruck will be able to interact with the power wall, the wall connector and gateway, and will allow the Cybertruck to share power with the power wall. Having Tesla power walls and connecting the Tesla Cybertruck to that setup not only increases the amount of storage capacity that you have, adding that 123 kilowatt hour battery pack to your system, but it also increases the amount of power that you can run continuously, once again, adding that 11.5 kilowatts of continuous power to that system. When it comes to the cost of installing this Tesla 3V gateway and also the Tesla universal wall connector, as was discussed in the Smart Charge America video, installation costs can vary quite a bit from situation to situation, but it was estimated that the cost to install a Tesla 3V router and universal wall connector should be around $2,500 to $5,000 on average. However, that's just for the installation and not for the hardware. The universal wall connector costs around $595 according to this video, and while the exact price was not known, it's estimated that this 3V gateway costs around $1,800. The good news is though, however, for those who purchase Foundation Series Cybertrucks, Tesla is helping a little bit with the cost of this system. For example, if you buy the CyberBeast Foundation Series truck, the hardware is included with that purchase and Tesla is offering owners an installation credit of up to $4,000. For those who purchase the dual motor all wheel drive Cybertruck instead of the CyberBeast version, the hardware is included, but the owner has to pay for installation. Now, when it comes to the actual implementation of backing up your home's power with the Tesla Cybertruck, it won't be quite as seamless as the Tesla Powerwall. For example, if you have a Tesla power wall and the grid goes down, the system will automatically and seamlessly switch over and none of your devices will turn off. It'll be like you never lost power at all. However, when it comes to the Tesla Cybertruck connecting to your home, there will be a little bit of a delay with it switching over. This is something that was specifically addressed in that Smart Charge America YouTube video. For example, if you lose power and you haven't plugged in the Cybertruck to your wall connector, when you do that, it takes around 45 seconds for the system to initialize and start dispensing power to your gateway and to your home. In a second scenario, even if you have the Cybertruck connected to your system and you lose power, if the truck has gone into sleep mode because it hasn't been used for a while, say like in the middle of the night, it'll take around 10 to 20 seconds for the truck to wake up and start dispensing power 
as a backup source to your home. So there will be a 10 to 20 second delay there where you have no power. In addition, even if the vehicle is awake and connected to your system, if you lose grid power, it still could take between three and 20 seconds for the system to switch over and start supplying power from the truck to your home. So while very usable, it definitely is not a seamless, uninterrupted power supply situation going on when you back up your home's power with the Tesla Cybertruck. But once again, you can use this system in conjunction with a power wall once again, and you increase the usability of your power wall because you have more power available using the Cybertruck's AC inverter, and you also have more storage capacity available. So I really think the ideal setup is having at least one power wall and connecting the Cybertruck to that system because that allows you to have the uninterrupted power supply situation to automatically switch over, but you also have a massive battery of the Cybertruck as an extra backup source of power. In that Smart Charge America YouTube video, it was also mentioned that you have the choice of completely backing up all circuits in your home or just doing a partial backup situation. With the partial home system, you would basically have breakers installed in the 3V gateway box, and those specific breakers would be for specific circuits that you want to be backed up. Now, as I mentioned previously, while the Cybertruck is the only Tesla right now to have this vehicle to home capability, and it's the only Tesla to actually have AC outlets as well, it looks like other vehicles, other Tesla vehicles in the future very well might get this power share feature. In this Smart Charge America video, it was estimated that based on documents from Tesla, it looks like other vehicles, other Tesla vehicles should get the power share capabilities in the future as Tesla updates those vehicles. And in this video, it was estimated that it could happen in two years. In addition to that, it looks like Tesla designed this system to work with other non-Tesla vehicles as well, as long as they have the Tesla NACS connector, which starting in 2025, there are going to be quite a few electric vehicles here in the United States that are going to have Tesla NACS charge connectors instead of the CCS connectors that they have now. So if this is accurate, I believe it's very possible that we could see power share in the Tesla Model S and X in the future, I believe when it comes to Tesla's current vehicle lineup, those two vehicles make the most sense initially because this hardware is more expensive than the existing hardware that they build into their vehicles. So it would make sense to build it into the more premium, more expensive vehicle. But hopefully in the future, we'll see with the Model 3, the Model Y, and maybe even Tesla's more compact, affordable next generation vehicle. Do let me know what you think about all this in the comments section below. I'd love to hear from you. I'd also like to say once again, thank you to all of those of you who support me through Patreon. Your support makes a big difference and does help make these videos possible. If you'd like to find out more about how you can support my work through Patreon, I will put a link in the video description. Thank you so much.